Hello guys, welcome back to another video, it's Jemmo here, bringing you episode number 3 of my Leicester City career mode challenge on FIFA 16. Last episode we had started the Premier League season with a 2-0 win at home to Sunderland, a 1-0 draw away at West Ham, and a 0-0 draw at home to Tottenham. And today we are starting our run in the Capital One Cup with a game at home to Hull City. We'll then take a one from away in the league, and then... After the international break, we'll take on Hull City once again, this time at home, but in the league this time. Um, Jeffrey Shep was out of action for four weeks with an injury, as you guys know from the last episode. So we're going to quickly advance, do a bit of training, hopefully. Um, why does it stop? But no, it's not going to let me, so I didn't stop, uh, stop it in time. Um, but Hull City is the next game. We're going to swap. Let's, let's give the team, uh, swap the team out a little bit, give a few of the other players a bit of a chance. You'll see the, team, the uh, starting lineup hopefully at the start of the game. Let's just jump straight into it. Right then, guys, for the first match against Hull, it's Schmeichel, Amati, Moore, Huth, and Fuchs at the back. Kante, Inla, Dyer, Albrighton making up the midfield, and then Jamie Vardy and Joe up front in our normal 4 triple 2 formation. Um, Hull's keeper, I've got no idea who he is. He's got Ud Debajo, Bruce, Maguire, Taylor at the back end, Mohamedi, Malone, Livermore, and Cumber, who's in the midfield, but I'm not sure who else they've got. But uh, Ajoa comes forward after seven minutes, gets a shot away, good, decent save by the keeper, parries it into the bar of Jamie Varley, who's there, right place, right time, and uh, fires it home. We are one nil up now, obviously, and uh, well taken goal. Ajoa with the initial shot. Keeper could have parried it behind, really. Could have done a little bit better. Hull, Hull coming forward now. 19 minutes played. Good save by Cash, which Michael led to tip it behind. I thought it was going behind at first, but good save initially. They get the ball back into the box after initially good tackle from Leicester. And uh, Schmeichel's there needed once again after 22 minutes for another phenomenal save. Um, Nathan Dyer comes forward. Whips the, gets another good shot away. Same similar, same scenario from the first one, but on the other side this time. This time, uh, Leonardo Joa heads home. And uh, another good shot this time on the other side. Obviously, the keeper again could parry it behind, and I think you know they would have been in a better position. El Hernandez now good shot. What the defenders were doing after half uh, at that point, half an hour played, absolutely no idea. Couldn't get anywhere near him. Well, they could have done, but my uh, defending decided to go like an absolute potato, and uh, decided to run away from the ball. I mean, it was just ridiculous defending, but it's now two one. Uh, Hernandez again, first time shot, bang, two all, Hull City come back to draw now That's at this stage. Uh, Abel Hernandez getting both goals, you can see here, they get the ball from the throw in, play it into him, lay off, first time shot, left hand side of the goal, two all. 50 minutes played, now we get a fantastic chance there, first time shot from Jamie Vardy, I think it was, good save from the keeper. Corner now, another decent chance there, headed wide, 65 minutes gone. And uh, 10 minutes later, we get another fantastic chance off the post from Vardy. Once again, thought we were going to get a chance to just tap it into the back of the net for a 3-2 lead there. Uh, but it didn't quite work out. Jamie Vardy on the ball from the corner now. Whips the ball to the back post. Mark Brighton's there. Head zone. Top right-hand corner. Bang. 3-2. Back in the lead now. 10 minutes to survive and defend this one goal advantage that we've got. And uh, a lovely ball into the box from Jamie Vardy. Defence had no chance, keeper had no chance. And uh, what on earth I was trying to do here with Schmeichel, I've absolutely no idea. I was expecting him to run out and catch it, but unfortunately he totally messes it up. Decides to slide in, Hull get the ball into the box and they score a 90th minute equaliser to make it 3 all and take the game to extra time. I mean, you can see here from the replay, what on earth I was expecting him to just jump onto the ball and catch it, but no. Decides to slide in and mess it up completely. And this is the end of the game. Nathan Dyer, fantastic chance to save from the keeper. Could have made it 4-3 and win the game right at the death into extra time. Now, what on earth would happen here? I have actually no idea how Hull did not take the lead there. Very, very lucky indeed. And uh, late into extra time, Mares comes forward. Could have done a little bit better. Good shot for, um, from Vardy, I think it was. Oh, no, it's Danny Drinkwater. Good save from the keeper. Uh, get the corner. Pass it out to Nathan Dyer. Whips it in. And uh, the keeper clears it out. And uh, on to penalties at this stage. It's 2 all Hull. El Mohamedy fires wide. Unexpectedly. Could have put his team in front there. Hooth next up for Hull City. And uh, decides to not... 
put, put it right into the corner and the keeper makes a save. If we lose, if we miss this penalty, if Hull score this penalty, they win on the, the game on the penalty shootout. They uh, do. Michael decides to duck. And uh, if he'd stayed where he was, stood up, he would have saved it. But unfortunately, Hull City go through to the next round on penalties. And Bournemouth are next up. Federici, Smith, Helfick, Distan and Daniels at the back. Iterbe, Sermon, Arter, Gradle, Gosling and Wilson make up the remainder of the team in the 4-5-1 formation. Us on the other we make household changes. Michael in goal, Hip Simpson, Morgan and Fuchs coming in. At the back, Kante, Drinkwater, Morris and North Brighton come making up the four-man midfield and the usual Vardy and Okazaki up front in the four triple two. Drinkwater plays it over to uh, Ungolo Kante. First good little run, first good shot into the bottom left-hand corner. I about to say first time shot, but it wasn't the first time shot. He had a little bit of a run onto it as well. Ten minutes played with one and up. Lovely goal from Ungolo Kante. Just what I, I, I was in a bit of space. You know, you can see here. From the, I think I was in a bit of space. Yeah, good bit of space into the space. It good run into the space. Just what, give it a go. Left hand side. Good chance. Good goal. Vardy on the ball left from Okazaki's pass. Good shot. Just wide of the post. Keeper might have got a touch on that. I think he did. I'm not entirely sure. Lovely chance there for Bournemouth. I thought they'd actually smashed that into the bottom left hand corner. Top left hand corner. Sorry, uh, but unluckily, luckily for us, they didn't. Mares, good. Weaving in and out, fixes there at the back post to head home and put us 2 0 up now at the start of the second half. Pretty much good ball from Riyad Mahrez, weaving in and out of the play, uh, Bournemouth players initially and uh, gets the ball from the corner, weaves in and out. Lovely, lovely run, lovely cross, lovely goal from Christian Fuchs, the left back, and uh, what a goal it was. Good block there from Wes Morgan. Four Bournemouth were in after 55 minutes, but they get the corner. Uh, which doesn't work out. Drink water coming through now. How on earth he's got through that? And then looking how on earth he actually scored the chance. I have absolutely no idea. You'll see from the replay. There was a very, very minor deflection um, on the shot. Um, he was very lucky to get through it, I think. You know, through the uh, defender taking the ball round him. You can see he just takes it round him. Couldn't get blocked off. And the slight deflection there takes it to the bottom left-hand corner. 3-0 now. 3-0 uh, Leicester now. Bournemouth going forward now, 71 minutes played, they score. You, I know as soon as a player, an opposition player gets into that position, the defence is too high and they're in. They're behind, they smash it, but near post, near post OP, simple as that. And uh, 90th minute, um, we come forward once again with uh, Okazaki weaving in and out of play, a simple goal, well played, 4-1, 90th minute. And uh, that's that. We end the game 4-1, picking up a massive, another massive three points in the league. And uh, we have Hull again. Now, let's hope that this time around we don't muck it up completely. And uh, we actually do something right here. We've got Schmeichel in goal again with Simpson, Moore, Morgan and Fuchs uh, at the back. And Golo Kante, Drinkwater, Mares. And all Brighton into the four-man midfield and Jamie Vardy and Shinji Okazaki up front in the normal 4 triple two formation that we've been used to over the last few games. Um, Hull City, on the other hand, have McGregor, Odebajo, Dawson, Davies at the back, uh, Robertson, Snodgrass, Diame, Livermore and Lucas, I think that is, um, in midfield. Diamandi, I don't know, and a Luco up front, Diamandi, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but we, the whole do come on the attack, it's offside, unfortunately, hits the bar, and uh, we were very lucky, 11 minutes played, Hull could have been one the up, it could have been a repeat of that cup match at the start of the episode, Danny Drinkwater, decent shot that was blocked, but um, it was played into the path of Shinji Okazaki, who was there once again, right place, right time, to fire us in front, 18 minutes gone, we are hoping now that we can defend it, Drinkwater running into a bit of space, Goes round the defender a bit too easily. Gets his shot blocked. So then Shinji Okazaki just fires it home first time. Okazaki again, 10 minutes later. Another good chance. Good save from the keeper. Puts it out for a corner. And uh, another chance there for Fuchs. The keeper is needed again to make another massive save. Otherwise that was going in, I think. Uh, into the second half. A lovely ball played up to Jamie Vardy. Cuts inside, sort of. Or doesn't, actually. Uh, good. Not such a good cross, but it was deflected into the box. And uh, we did get a chance to make a good save from the keeper. Nathan Dyer now, 71 minutes played. Gets his shot away and blocked out for a corner. 
still 1-0 up here. How on earth? I was thinking, how on earth are we still 1-0 up at this state? We've had so many good chances to go 3 plus 3 and 4-0 up. Um, good, another good save from the keeper. Was also in another uh, not so good corner. Vardy coming through now. Gets his shot away. The keeper from me should save. That should do a lot better. And there were five minutes to go. We've tripped for Don Lee. Got ourselves into the uh, normal 2 0 lead that you need to be comfortable in the game. And uh, that is how the game ended. Uh, we pick up another three points in the league. Next up for us in terms of matches, it's Sevilla in the Champions League. Let's see how the table looks. Well, guys, after five matches in the Premier League, we sit top of the table, three wins, two draws, 11 points, uh, same record as Manchester United and West Brom, which have been in second and third, respectively. Uh, Chelsea in fourth up with nine points. They haven't lost another game. I would any unbe other unbeaten team in the league is West Ham sitting in tenth, one win, three draws, six points. And uh, looking at the bottom of the table, um, Surprisingly enough, Liverpool and Spurs are down there, along with Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Bournemouth, Port Watford and Crystal Palace. And uh, I'm sure there are shippers to around Liverpool yet to, to win a game, um, along with Middlesbrough, Bournemouth, Watford and Crystal Palace. Um, next episode, we start our run in the Champions League with a game against Sevilla. Um, Let's just take a quick look at the calendar if I can actually go onto it properly. There we go. So, next episode we have Palace. Uh, uh, Palace, no. Sofia. Um, at home in the group stage of the Champions League. Stoke away in the league. And Arsenal at home in the league. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. A playlist will be left uh, down below in the description for every single ep uh, that will contain every single episode of in this series. Hopefully, going to get uh, some YouTubers live con content out soon as well, and some Mirror's Edge when that comes out in the next week as well. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode very soon indeed. See you later.